Hong Kong's umbrella revolution democracy protesters refused to yield. On September 22nd, the Hong Kong Federation of Students mobilized up to 10,000 students to boycott classes, with hundreds of teachers voluntarily joining the strike and lecturing at the rally. The protesters voiced strong discontent with Beijing's late August decree that all future candidates for position of chief executive be screened and approved by a pro-Beijing nominating committee. On September 26, the fifth day of the strike, Hong Kong's chief executive Si Wai Leong remained firm in refusing to negotiate with the students. 4,000 students and citizens then surrounded the government house. At midnight, led by 17-year-old student leader Joshua Wong, the protesters charged the government headquarters. The clash ended with 61 protesters arrested by police who fended off the crowds with pepper spray. By September 27th, the crowd had swelled to 50,000 people who remained outside government headquarters demanding that the arrested students be released. On September 28, 60,000 protesters took to the streets. The government quickly condemned the movement as illegal, and 7,000 riot police were dispatched to attempt and disperse the protests, firing 78 tear gas canisters into the unarmed crowds. In the early morning hours of September 29th, the Occupy Central movement had extended its operations into Admiralty, Central, Wan Chai, Causeway Bay, and Mong Kok, as 100,000 citizens came out to condemn the violent police response to peaceful protesters. <laughs> After umbrellas were used to fend off tear gas from riot police, the foreign media officially dubbed the uprising the Umbrella Revolution. On the night of September 30th, heavy downpours put the umbrellas to good use as the number of protesters rose to more than 100,000, forming what they named a democracy plaza in the districts of Admiralty, Mong Kok, and Causeway Bay. Despite the swelling crowds, Chief Executive Si Wai Leung made it clear he had no intention of heeding the people's call for him to resign. On October 2nd, the Hong Kong Federation of Students called on citizens to occupy government buildings. Only then did the authorities finally agree to talks about policy reform. On October 3rd, triad gangsters attacked pro-democracy protesters in Mong Kok, Causeway Bay, and Simsatwe. The Federation of Students denounced the government for standing by idly while thugs beat peaceful protesters and called on its members to fight to the end. Get the Tomo News mobile phone app, uncut and uncensored. Search for Tomo News in the Apple App Store or Google Play, or see the links in the description of this video. Hong Kong's umbrella revolution democracy protesters refused to yield. On September 22nd, the Hong Kong Federation of Students mobilized up to 10,000 students to boycott classes, with hundreds of teachers voluntarily joining the strike and lecturing at the rally. The protesters voiced strong discontent with Beijing's late August decree that all future candidates for position of chief executive be screened and approved by a pro-Beijing nominating committee. On September 26, the fifth day of the strike, Hong Kong's chief executive Si Wai Leong remained firm in refusing to negotiate with the students. 
4,000 students and citizens then surrounded the government house. At midnight, led by 17-year-old student leader Josh 